Hello everyone, my name is Dushan. I'm a current pilot at BA Training, and today I would like to tell you some useful tips which can come in handy during your final interview for a cadet program. But first, do you know what a cadet pilot program is? It is an integrated ATPL program for either the fixed wing or the rotor wing aircraft. However, unlike the regular integrated or the modular ATPL program, the cadet program is carried out in partnership with an airline. It's an amazing opportunity for everyone who would like to become an airline pilot, as in case of successful completion of the program, the airline will secure the cadet with the future employment. For this reason, airlines are eager to select only the best candidates who have to go through an advanced pre-selection and selection processes with even more than one interview. Therefore, it is crucial for the candidate to be well prepared for the interviews, as it will most likely define his or her future. So I will try and share some tips that will hopefully help you prepare for the interview. Tip number one, research. It is highly important that you perform a detailed research of the training center and the airline the cadet program of which you're applying for. Obviously, this should be your first step. Research as much as possible about the fleet the airline operates, about its bases, types of services it offers, route network. Get a glimpse of any reports published by the airline to get familiar with it better. Trying to find out about the work culture in the airline. Can you imagine yourself working for this airline? Would you feel happy in such an environment after several months? These are some of the questions you should ask yourself and try to answer before applying for the program. Tip number two, mock interviews. Ask your friends and family to help you prepare for the interview. Interviewers love tricky questions, which are both personal and professional. They help them evaluate your personality and eventually decide if you're the right candidate to become the future pilot in the airline. For some people, answering such questions may come naturally. For others, it will pose a certain challenge. Prepare yourself for the interview by simulating it with someone who can stand for the interviewer and bombard you with tricky questions. This practice shouldn't show you as an exercise for memorizing the answers. On the contrary, it should help you prepare psychologically. Tip number three, be well rested. In order to perform well, you should feel well, but you won't feel well if you're tired or have a strong headache. We recommend you traveling to the location of your interview at least the day before it is expected to take place. As you will probably be excited for the upcoming day, as I was, go to bed earlier in order to allow your body to get good rest and to be full of energy for the next day. Wake up early enough to have time to slowly get ready and arrive about 15 minutes earlier. Tip number four, dress accordingly. No doubt, wearing proper clothes during your interview can affect the final decision. Now guys, it doesn't necessarily have to be a suit. A nicely paired dress shirt with proper trousers or skirt for the ladies, clean shoes and a dress jacket will do an amazing job. If you're not wearing a suit, tie is optional though. It is also important that you feel comfortable in the clothes you're wearing as it will impact your body language. Tip number five. Communicate with other people. As your interview for the cadet program will probably be scheduled for a large group of candidates at the same time, you have a chance to meet them beforehand in the waiting area and have a small talk. Don't be shy, be friendly instead. Approach people, start conversations and try to learn something about them. This will not only help you meet new people, but will also present you as a communicative candidate. Remember, your selection starts even before you've entered the interview room. Tip number six, bring a copy of your CV. Even though you sent your CV when applying for the cadet program, it doesn't necessarily mean that the interviewer printed it out. In case the interviewer doesn't have the copy of your CV, feel free to offer your personal copy after you take a seat. This will show your potential employer that you're well prepared. Considering the fact that the majority of the applicants for the cadet programs are the high school or college graduates with little or no flying experience at all, don't be ashamed, just be yourself. Your CV should be clean, easy to understand, and should not contain any parts which are made up. The interviewers can ask you any question that comes to their mind and find out that the information in your CV is false. Tip number seven, listen to the questions. Everyone knows at least one person who starts answering to the questions before they hear it till the end. Prevent this from happening during your interview. Understand what they want you to say. 
Otherwise, this when you can give a totally opposite answer to what was expected, showing that you're impulsive and can't keep the attention focused. Instead, listen to the question and think about it carefully. You may even take a few short seconds to think about your answer. Tip number eight, don't be afraid to ask some questions. Almost every interview will contain a part where the interviewer asks you if you have any questions. Don't be afraid to take this opportunity and ask them about the company. In fact, it will confirm your interest in the company and provide you with some useful information. Tip number nine, be honest. Probably you will be interviewed by at least two people, one of whom has been an airline pilot, an HR specialist, or any other qualified specialist. They are very well experienced in recognizing when candidates are lying, and if they suspect that you are doing so, the direction of the interview might change for 180 degrees. In almost 99%, a candidate caught lying is rejected. Tip number 10, be willing to adapt. The pilot job, as any other profession, brings unexpected situations, which require from the crew to adapt to the present conditions. A new procedure might get published, your base might get changed, the crew might be changed in the last moment due to duty time. Throughout the interview, you will be asked to describe how you will perform in such situations. Since you're applying for this job, you already know that the pilot job is very dynamic and requires lots of energy. So don't forget to show your awareness of these values to your interviewers too. We hope that you have enjoyed our video. If you found it useful, please like it and share it with someone who can get some use of it as well. If you have any questions about the Cadet Pilot program and the PAA training, feel free to leave the comment in the comment section below or visit www.pafliveschool.com for more information. Thank you for watching.